Hey, Jared here. I have my laptop in front because I'm going to quickly Google search the medical definition of binge eating disorder. I know it might seem silly to diagnose an official disorder based on just those questions you answered, but you'll see that the definition of binge eating disorder is pretty straightforward. And so these questions are just meant to bring some understanding to those situations. So that being said, let's actually check out Google. I'll share with you my screen and we'll just go through this real quick. Today, we're gonna to be sharing this computer screen and I've asked Google a very simple and straightforward question. What is the medical definition of binge eating disorder? Because I know it, it, yeah, it might sound silly. Like you just answered a few questions. Can you really be diagnosed for binge eating disorder off these few questions? Let's find out. Let's just go to the Mayo Clinic. These are the diagnostic criteria. And you'll, you'll see that these are, these are all the same. Uncomfortably full, lar larger than normal um, amounts of food, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, the other question was that you answered was that it does not occur exclusively during the course of bulimia or anorexia nervous nervosa. Those are other eating disorders. The intention here is to simply bring a presence, a light, a clarity to, and give you some language so that you can understand what the hell is happening around food. I remember like, I knew I had a problem. I didn't know what the problem was. I feel like getting a name on the problem can be great. Of course, if we identify with the, with the label binge eating disorder, then that's bad, right? Then that's stigmatizing and we don't want to have a victim mentality. I don't want the victim mentality for me, but I want this to help you bring clarity to your eating habits. And so this video is getting a little bit long. I'm just going to call it right here. Thank you so much for taking the quiz. And there's some ways to continue your journey on the next page. Namaste.